Just a heads up to you guys, I want to apologize for covering some of the drawings. I somehow forgot I was left handed, so please excuse it. And also, I'm not like a professional artist, so the drawings are similar to a second grader. Alright, so I'm finally getting to the draw my life. So I was born on Mother's Day from a woman named Barb and I was born on May 5th, 1995 and it was a nice sunny day and there's me as a little baby in the lower right. I grew up in a family of four. I had a dad and a mom and I also had an older brother named Alex. He is three years older than me and then I was the youngest and I always liked to dress up a ton and I thought I was a little princess. Now when I was younger, I remember my parents fighting a lot, but they always would apologize after. It didn't affect me too much, but it did make me a little bit confused when I was growing up. Like I didn't understand why they fought all the time, but now I do. Now I grew up in a really great neighborhood. I live on a cul-de-sac and I had two best friends named Alexis and Jake. And they were my best friends ever since I was a little baby until one day, um, they actually had to move away and it pretty much broke my heart because they were my friends for at least six years and then they had to move away. One went to Chicago and the other one went to a different part of town and I have to say my heart was really broken and I felt alone. Now when I was younger I did much every single sport out there. I did karate and cheerleading but I also did softball a lot and I was actually a pitcher so I felt pretty talented. Now one day in the third grade, right after my ninth birthday, I became really, really sick. I got a disease called toxic shock syndrome. I had a very high fever and I was really close to dying. I remember the doctors telling my mom I had a 5% survival rate and I just remember being in the hospital for four days, not knowing if I was gonna live or not. And my mom told me that she said that I told her if I go to the light, I'll see her in heaven one day. And I guess that pretty much opened up to the whole idea that I was really close to my religion and Jesus. Now, when I came back from school, because I did have to miss a month, I met my best friend, Sam, and we were the closest of friends. We hung out every single day and we did everything together. And we'd even like to match. Then the worst day ever came, middle school. And middle school was terrible for me and Sam. I found us getting bullied a lot, and we just kind of fell apart with our little group from elementary school. When I was 12 years old, I fell in love with gymnastics. I started with just a simple one day a week class, and I found myself living for that one day a week to do gymnastics. And I found I was really passionate about it, and look at me now, I'm still continuing it. I also got Sam to join, so now it was just the two of us just having so much fun together. We actually competed against each other for level four, and we just had the best of times doing gymnastics together, and it was just something we shared. All of a sudden, I realized that I was getting really boy crazy. I started getting crushes on just about every single boy in the school, and I really just wanted to have my first kiss and experience all that fun stuff, but I also started getting into makeup even more. I'll never forget this one day in middle school where this boy called me ugly in our typing class. It really, really hurt my feelings and it made me reevaluate my life and I decided I wanted to go blonde. I just wanted to change myself and have a fresh, new, clean slate. Now with all the confidence I got from dyeing my hair, as silly as that sound, I was walking home from school one day and I saw this boy playing basketball in his front yard. and. His name was Joey, and i he was pretty much my first love. We dated for a total of three years, and we told each other everything. We were best friends, and I was just so happy. And then high school came. Everyone is super nervous for it, but I knew I just wanted to do the high school gymnastics team, and I was having a lot of fun. But 
Sam decided to quit and it really hurt my feelings and I missed seeing her in the gym. I slowly began to realize that gymnastics really was my life and all I wanted to do is be a future coach and help Olympians reach their goals. I also wasn't doing very good in school as a freshman. I got B's, C's, and D's and I was pretty much falling apart. And then 10th grade came and Miss Bombshell Beauty was born. This was also a time in my life where I was realizing I didn't really like how I looked and I was just having problems when I looked in the mirror and I thought I was getting kind of big, probably because I was just hitting puberty or something. And it started getting kind of serious. I was restricting a lot of things and it wasn't going too well and I actually dropped up to 10 pounds, which was crazy. And Joey was freaking out. He didn't understand. He thought it was his fault, I think. But he continued to support me and love me, which I really appreciated. And even my mom was starting to catch on a little bit. But I pretty much ignored everyone and didn't want to accept it. I finally started getting healthy again after about a year. And I realized that I just wanted a nice muscular build. And calories were no longer an issue. And I actually picked up running. And I did lots of 5Ks. And I was really enjoying it. My junior year came around and I started driving and I also finally got my license after about a year and a half. But the bad thing about junior year was Joey and I would always fight a lot about the stupidest things and it really affected me and also we hit our three year mark and there was rumors being spread that I kissed another guy and the funny thing is is that I took an acting class my junior year and there was a kiss in the scene. My grades were finally picking up and I got a 4.2 and I was so happy for myself. But then the summer came and my friend Lexi actually passed away. She died in a car accident and we were pretty close. During summer I went to New York City. I didn't really like it. And when I got back, I realized things were really different between me and Joey. And he actually broke up with me, and he broke my heart completely. I asked him to homecoming, he rejected me, and I cried all the time. And honestly, I felt like I was dying. I had tons of anxiety, and then I became a huge flirt. And those boys giving me attention made me feel really pretty. But my heart was still sad. I also had absolutely no trust for anyone since he broke my heart and I just didn't believe in people. But I was checking out my YouTube channel and I was realizing I was doing really great. I actually hit 10,000 subscribers and I felt like a rock star. I was so proud of my YouTube channel and also I got a new job at Hollister. I made sure I kept busy so I didn't think about my breakup too much. I was working 60 hours a week, training at the gym with school and everything like that, which was good for keeping things off my mind. And then I met a boy at work named CJ, and I actually asked him to prom, and he said yes. Things were finally looking up for me, but then Joey started dating a girl named Maggie, and whatever, there was nothing I could do. And at this moment, I was getting really proud of my body. I was working hard at the gym, getting my guns and my six-pack abs, and fitness was making me happy. Now, it was becoming the end of my senior year, and I was just focusing on college, boys, and friends. And also, I was realizing how important my family was, because they were there for me throughout this whole entire situation. And I've been so happy, even though I've been through a lot in my life, and I'm the class of 2013, so there's a lot to look forward to. And even though my life hasn't been that long so far, I'm really out of what I do have and I have a lot of love and support from you guys so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed me drawing my life and I'd appreciate it if you did too bye everyone